Hello beautiful Capricorns, welcome to your Love Tarot reading. We have a slightly different format here today, but welcome to Love uh, Love Angel. Oh my god, I don't even know my own channel name. Blue Angel Love Tarot, Capricorn, I've been going through hell. Um, my camera is completely, uh, it's just, it's broken for no reason at all. There's like all kinds of issues going on with it for no reason. I've had it. Um, I haven't had it for a long time, but uh, not for a short time. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but it's a, it's, a, it's a really good Sony camera, and it's just completely died on me, so there's nothing I can do about it. This is the shot you're getting. This is what you're getting. Um, I'm going to try and fix it as soon as possible so you can't really see the cards. The quality of the video is lower, um, but we're going to be as friendly and loving and beautiful as always, and we're going to send the love out there, so it's just, it's as good as 4K, you know? I hope your 2022 has been amazing so far. Let me know what you've been up to in 2022 so far. How is your love life? This is your love tarot reading. So we're going to take a look at you and your person. Whatever your person means to you, honey. Relationship, situationship, bumble date, marriage, whatever it is. Uh, that's what we're, we're going to be taking a look at. And yeah, we're just going to see what's going on. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, Capricorn, shameless plug. All the information is in the description box below. Yes, gorgeous. And what else can I tell you? Like the video. Subscribe to my channel, okay? I'm still going to love you if you don't, but it really helps me out. I'm a small new creator on YouTube. I want to build a benign empire in the tarot world. Just kidding. Not kidding. Um, but yeah, I love you Capricorns. You know why? Because we're like, we're so similar. I'm Scorpio. Uh, double Scorpio. Sun and rising. So I have loads of water. Your earth. You know, water, earth. We make things grow. We make things work. You know what I mean? Mm, there's a lot of chemistry between us. Friends, lovers, everything. Okay, let's see what's going on for Capricorn and their person. Please show me angels, Capricorn situation with their person. What happened in the recent past to make the situation so. There is a problem with communication. Something changed really abruptly, Capricorn. Unfortunately, I can't show you all the cards, but I'll show you this beautiful deck I'm using here. This is what came out for your situation. Ooh. Mm. Okay, weird, weird angles, but bear with me. Um, this card came out first. You got the um, the Page of Pentacles here. Sorry, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, there's a communication was an issue here. This is like I'm sorry. This this webcam I've not used it in forever. Um, this is a weird situation. This is a situation where communication could have stalled. Communication was an issue. Uh, there could have been a lot of communication when you first met. You know, whatever your situation is, it could have been a bimbo himbo. Anyone in between, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, and the communication started off really well. It felt really right. It felt amazing. It felt good, and then over time, it fizzled out. Something changed uh, drastically. There was a lot of passion. Page and Ace beginnings. It was like a new relationship that was very passionate. A lot of concrete communication. Could have been a lot of promises that were not kept. Something changed. Um, could have been out of the blue, the Wheel of Fortune turned for you. If it was a, a more established connection, I feel like with the, this Wheel of Fortune here, it was uh, something, you know, if it was a more established connection though, I feel like your person was never fully committed to it and you could have not even known because this pentacle here uh, in this car, in this car, in this car, I'm sorry, Capricorn. This is such, oh my God, this is such an issue. If anyone even watches this video, it's going to be a miracle. Please have mercy on me have mercy on me seriously what is my life um in this card here what you see is this big ass pinnacle right so i feel like this person you could have been married to this person for like 50 years and you never noticed how uncommitted they were because it's see you know ace is like the highest form of things too so it seemed like because the pinnacle is so big it was like wow this person's really invested this person's doing all the moves it looked good but you know what it's one pinnacle it's it should be 10 it should be 20 it should be 100 it should be 
all these little gestures of commitment and stuff like that. And this person just, they shortchanged you, but it looked like they were committed. So they had the air of being committed. Other people could have seen you as um, a, a good couple, but actually they weren't because they have page of wands energy, a wandering person, someone who's in and out, that kind of energy. They could have been um, the kind of person who, you know, you guys, if you were married, uh, this person could have uh, been the kind, of, the kind of person who was in and out of the marriage, found excuses to, you know, argue. They would find an excuse for an argument and they would like, you know, move out for a week and stuff like that and consider themselves to be single again. When it comes to feelings here, Capricorn, I see a uh, two of wands for your person. They're thinking, of, they're thinking, they're deep in thought, they're deep in contemplation about where they want to take things next. Um, you, however, um, would like to feel celebrated in this connection. You would like this person to come and get you, to come and communicate, to come and fight for this relationship. And I, um, I feel like they want to as well. It's like they're on the verge of doing that. There's something that's stopping them here, unfortunately. Let me clarify here the Wheel of Fortune for you uh, with this little uh, mini Gilded deck. I'm just going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune for you to see why this changed as well. Why did this change? Why was there, uh, there was an abrupt ending? Why was this? Knight of Swords. Words were exchanged. You had an argument about something. Yeah, for some of you, it's an on and off. It's an on and off. It's like cats and dogs. Sometimes you're together. Sometimes you're not. What was the argument about? Something changed. <sighs> feelings. And the argument was about feelings, commitment to feelings. And it was also regarding the stability of this relationship. You have two kings here. Uh, the king of... Um, uh, the King of Cups for feelings and the King of Pentacles for stability. Be like, uh, disregard the gender, it's arbitrary, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, whatever uh, you're relating to. But this is an argument regarding stability. There is no stability in this connection, and you called this person out on it, and it caused an argument that escalated, and then caused an ending. Hmm. King of Cups at the bottom of this deck as well. You know what, Capricorn? You could have argued also because this person uh, has like, maybe they party too much. They have too much of a party lifestyle, immature energy. They have too much of a party lifestyle. It's like they cut the cord on you because they don't want to be called out, but they party too much or they use substances in a way that's not healthy. Show me wants. In action. Yeah. Yeah, see, even though this person is kind of immature in this energy and they didn't give you what you deserve, they didn't see you in this connection, they didn't honor you, they didn't, it's like there was like a pretty seeming to this person, it could have been, if it was a newer connection, like I, I think I said this before already, um, but it could have been like a love bombing situation and then it kind of flipped. Uh, because you started to see things in this person, you know, if it's a himbo bimbo from Tinder, anyone in between, you suddenly started seeing things in this person, too much parties, too much of this, something about them. It was like, you know, they were talking the talk, they were not walking the walk. So you started questioning their love bombing and they flipped because they're, um, they're emotionally unstable, this person in some ways. They're emotionally unstable, but I have good news for you. I have good news for you, boo boo, because you know what? They, <laughs> what they really want right now is communication and to offer you the kind of concrete thing that they promised you and never delivered on. They actually want to offer the thing that they promised you. Knight of, Pen uh, Knight of Pentacles here. This is such a beautiful card here. But they're stalled because, you know, there's no action here because they don't know if they're going to be successful, but they want to make it work. Uh, Seven of Cups, you're not sure what you want, you know. Uh, you really want to explore your options. You're kind of closed off emotionally to this person at the moment because you, you, you're just not sure. Um, your feelings are that, you know, you still choose them and they you want them to choose you emotionally because it's hard to kind of let go of this. But actually, you know, you're thinking, is that what I really want? Because uh, I feel also Capricorn that you have options. But here with the Nine of Cups, uh, wish fulfillment. This is someone who wants to be in a beautiful, uh, fulfilling um emotionally fulfilling connection. 
Uh, in this deck, this card would suggest to me this person wants to marry you, either spiritually or actually legally. Uh, and this is their next action. They are going to come in and they're going to apologize and they're going to say, let's get back together. Whatever this argument was that caused this uh, final separation, uh, in this person's mind, this is not the end and they want to resurrect this situation with you. They might even offer a higher form of commitment because I do see this here that like now they're ready. They're ready to commit more now. This, um, this knight's still not a king, but it's something better now they're willing to give you some, some something more now something better and with this nine of cups you know this is someone who wants and is coming in with an offer that is really serious uh it could be uh, as dramatic as a proposal for some of you for some of you if you've been in this connection for a while and it's been on and off a lot of arguments maybe cats and dogs that kind of a situation maybe some of it some of the arguments were about uh a final commitment here ace of pentacles this commitment will come and they will propose to you if you're marriage minded of course two of wands here um, like I said, for your person, for for their feelings, they're really, they're like gearing up. Like they know they have to step up. Their feelings are that they need to step up, but they're feeling very vulnerable in themselves and unsure of themselves. Uh, let's get the or uh, the angel oracle deck. This is the Dorian Virtue classic angel love oracle deck, um, but it's the hologram hologram version. Um, so it may not be as uh, clear on the screen here. Um, I just got it recently. I feel like it's a knockoff. I don't think, because uh, that original is out of print, isn't it? And I feel like this is like, I don't know, it's like a bootleg, whatever this is. I don't know. But I wanted to get this Oracle deck for you. Uh, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. What did I tell you, Capricorn? <gasps> Your person has like a substance issue or something. You called them out on this. This is what causes separation. Well, you know what? Counterfeit or not, this deck really is good. Uh, I love Doreen Vir Virtue. That's another topic for another day. Uh, but she's the author of this deck. Yes. This this had the potential to be a codependent situation where your person just kept on like pushing and pushing it. Uh, a lot of a lot of immature energy expecting you to constantly forgive them. And you finally said either you finally said no or they flipped and it caused you to walk away because they said something really mean to you this uh, this causes separation. This Knight of Swords is really mean, but they've turned from this immature, mean spirited, mm, very like viper timed um, Knight of Swords into a Knight of Pentacles here, who's offering a, a something stable. That is a beautiful reading, Capricorn. If you are, um, you know, if you're your person, if you're dealing with substance abuse issues or, you know, too much of anything, some kind, could be an addiction to shopping. Who knows, you know, what your person is going through. But just remember that you can get help and uh, these things can be worked out. I do see uh, love here definitely coming from your person. I see you think, feeling like you're not sure if you want to get into it. Also, you got the Eight of Pentacles. I forgot to say, uh, you got the Eight of Pen Pentacles here, Capricorn, for yourself. You know, you're willing to give it a go. You're willing to work on it, provided your person is. So I feel like that's, you know, that and that is what you're going to do. Um, but let your person prove themselves to you because um, they made some mistakes here, no doubt. Uh, everyone's story is different. This is a general reading, Capricorn, but. Um, I, I do see a lot of good energy coming in. I see some kind of a, uh, there's a change in energy here, uh, which is good for you, Capricorn. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you, uh, if it helped you a little bit. Uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you for, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Uh, love you, Capricorn. See you next time. Probably, I hope, with my camera working again. Uh, but if not, I'll see you next time regardless. Take care of yourselves. May the angels protect you.